booties, it's your girl at Christine, and today we are checking out a story time animation. This is from Bunnymation. It's called Why I'm Insecure About My Chuggy Chubby Cheeks Animated Story. You shouldn't be insecure. I have chubby cheeks too. I remember that my father had said that I look like a squirrel whole- <laughs> storing nuts in my cheeks. This is when I was in high school or middle school, he said that. And I was just like, oh, my father thinks I'm fat. Like I, I did have a image thing because of that. And I don't think I hated my cheeks ever, but I did kind of feel a certain type of way by that comment. I'm not gonna lie, I did, I did. But now, I mean, I love my big cheeks and my daughter has my big cheeks and they're so cute. So I love chubby things as an adult. Went on a chubby rant, I'm sorry, but I'm excited to see this video. I'd like to do a special shout out for an artist that hit me up on Instagram, J Cup Productions. Check out this art that he made. I think it's super amazing and super awesome. Definitely check him out down below in the description box. Tell him I sent you. Tell him I said to say hi. All right, hit him up. And yeah, link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out as well. And let's get started. I'm excited because her OC is super freaking cute. And this bunny's super cute. I'm excited for Chubby stuff. Oh, the winky tail, the tail Chubby wrinkles. Cheeks. You know that you have them if your the face is bunny plump, but is it's so not the same cute. thing as having wide cheekbones or a square jaw. No, no, yeah, I have... Your cheeks have to be squishy and they should yes. jiggle when you move. Also, your face <laughs> won't exactly match your body. Your body can mm. look chiseled or mm -hmm. super ripped or shredded. Oh, goodness. You could be shredded an athlete wheat. with five. Oh, wh look at that bun. Unless someone was actively checking you out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. they see your cute chubby face, they will automatically oh. associate the rest of your body to be also chubby. No matter what your, <sighs> your body looks like. Okay. Actually, you know what? You are My. quite in shape. Uh, thanks. Well. <laughs> After they've known me for three... What is that to say to someone? Actually, you know what? You're actually kind of in shape. Why would you just say that to somebody like, hey... You know what, I thought you were fat, but that's like the part they didn't say. They didn't say the part they thought of their mind, like, I thought you were fat, but actually, you're kind of in shape. This made me think of them adults and freaking persona. Get out of my face with that. What kind of, people, people, people. Three whole months, seeing me almost every day, and I know I didn't lose any weight. <laughs> Lastly, no, you Peter. know you have chubby cheeks if people shamelessly stare at them. Or oh dear. Or straight up point them out to you. I think we can all relate oh, this to This bunny is like freaking nice adorable. Kids. But then for some of us, mm -hmm. Asians, the chubby cheeks stayed even after puberty. Oh. And not gonna lie, there are obvious problems they can. you get with having them well above an acceptable age of being cute. And despite people telling you all the time that you'll lose your baby fat soon, just be patient. You look at your parents When you're an adult. Go, <laughs> he has the chubby cheeks. Yeah, I will never lose my baby fat. <laughs> For me, like my body fat lives mainly on my face. Sadly, despite it's cute, puberty, though. it stayed on my face and didn't migrate to more ideal areas on my body. Oh, like her boobies. So yeah, that sucks. <laughs> and you know how turtlenecks have been really trendy these past few years? Mm -hmm. However, when I wear one, I just end up looking like oh, a bobble. Oh, like a chibi bobble doll. not that I have uh, a short hair. neck. Although, I'm sure people with longer necks would look much better in them. Hence the name Maybe. Right? Uh, maybe that they don't flatter me because this bunny is super cute anyway. I'm not a huge fan of tur turtlenecks is that when you I feel like the turtle like when you have turtlenecks I feel like it's just I feel claustrophobic like I think there's like a couple of times I've worn a turtleneck but it wasn't like a full sweater like the arms are short or there's no sleeves I, ha I can't have long sleeves and a turtleneck I'll just feel like <gasps> like oh there's too much I gotta take it off gotta rip it off not that I've done that in public. No, I, I don't know why I was like, did I? I never did that in public. Okay, I sound crazy. Anyways, let's get back to it. You gained some weight. Sure, you might be like, oh, damn it, I just got these skinny jeans. However, that weight still oh. tends to show more on your I'm face in planet than thickness. your waistline. And then you decide, I'm gonna hit the gym. Determination. I'm gonna do some cardio. But then mm -hmm. you can unmistakably feel your two cheeks protesting on your face. Oh. Like, no. <laughs> we don't want to be loud. Ow, 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 That's ow, how ow. my booty feels I wish when I made sports bras. Oh my goodness. Their tips. Oh my then goodness. I guess it will kind of look like I'm trying to rob the gym. Put the money in now. <laughs> Ace stuff. wall. But despite these inconveniences, I this still consider is so my cute. to be an asset if you know what I mean. They are great. Damn girl. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I can move on to the positives because there are so many perks I like that you can get with darn girl. 
They're so cute. Example, when you are looking angry, mm -hmm. well, you don't. You look super oh, cute. Look at them chubby cheeks. I Let know they're so them. cute. No. For better or worse, <laughs> people adorable. will always assume that you're friendly and approachable because of how you look. That's true. And personally, that's true. I don't think that's a bad deal. That's how you can get away with your Mondays. Or maybe Rest in bee face. On top of looking approachable, chubby cheeks mm -hmm. are hella attractive. They are they adorable. Oh, that looks like Selena Gomez. Yes. Look at Selena Gomez. Oh, okay. Miranda Kerr, the supermodel. And as for attractive males with chubby cheeks, I would say Leonardo DiCaprio, Gerard mm. Butler. Oh, Gerard Elton, Butler. Oh, and Zach of course, Efron. without a doubt, Pak Ji Min. The, uh, oh, the lot, oh, there's a lot of <laughs> abs there. You don't need to resort to going under the knife just yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Leave your chubby cheeks. Which always works wonders. I'm not trying also, that. Also, you can exaggerate your other facial features mm. so that your cheeks look smaller proportionally. But or I just love them. Thing, and you're lucky love enough them. to be able to grow facial hair. Yeah, you can use that. Or just grow out your normal hair and rock that look too. Oh. Personally, mm -hmm. I use almost all the above tricks. That's a, I love the artwork in this. Sometimes I feel like I am guilty of identity fraud. <laughs> so I, like, I like how this person who's holding the ID first held it, looked, held it lower, looked, and then it's like, let me hold this up to your face because clearly you are not the person in this in this ID. That is hilarious. That is funny. To the point, it should look at him. Look at him. He's like, mm -mm. this is not you. <laughs> but if you have tried everything and you still aren't happy with the your beard, cheeks, makeup, and the long and hair, and you're desperate okay. for a good selfie so that you can be a catfish on Tinder, oh then dear. you can suck in your cheeks and do a duck face. Mm. <sighs> yeah. I feel no, weird I when I do it, even though I've but tried it. But wanting to change our appearance is completely natural. Most of us have a love-hate relationship oh, with one body or another on our body. Or that booty. We love it because it makes us who we are, but then they can also mm -hmm. be an inconvenience to our personal life. <laughs> 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 Wait. <laughs> okay. For any of my thickums out there, that ish <laughs> right there was freaking relatable as heck. I can't tell you how many times in my own house, mind you, I've turned and knocked something over, like a cup of water or a cup of <laughs> or a cup of whatever, or just like turn around and knock something over. And then like me and my husband end up laughing about it, but it's happened a bunch of times where I've like turned and it was like that mirror. I like something gotta go <laughs> because Thickums, Thickums back there, okay? Awa booty is like, boops and hitting things um and it's worse in public like i i will say that i don't hate my butt i love my butt i don't think i've ever hated my butt you know but i do get a little self-conscious when i'm in a public place where i have to move my butt in front of somebody so like if i'm at an event let's say i'm at a panel or something and the seats are not on the edge and i have to go through a bunch of people to sit down then I feel extremely uncomfortable because A, I know my booty's big, all right? There is no denying it. But when passing in front of people, I'm like, okay, I hope my booty don't touch nobody. I feel less afraid of people touching my booty because, I mean, we're in a day and age that doesn't really happen that often. Um, it, actually, it's never happened to me outside of my husband. Okay, it, I ain't going to tell you who touched my booty, but... Like, I don't just get publicly groped is what I'm trying to say. So I'm more concerned about my butt touching stuff. I, I Very recently, before this lockdown happened, I can't remember where I was at, but I had to keep passing in front of people. And I was like hitting their shoulder or hitting, I put my butt hit somebody in their face. And it was like something that I was at where I can't remember what I was doing or why, but I had to keep getting up to like get something or it was like a part of the event and my butt kept hitting people. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. It wasn't even like, oh, I hope my booty gets smaller, but it's like, oh, I'm so sorry that my butt is hitting all these parts of your body and your face right now. So that, that, that hit home. That was hilarious. My face looks like a circle, but I never cared. That's so cute. And luckily That's I never so got cute. teased at school for them. But as I That's got older, good. I got more insecure about my cheeks. And no, it's probably not what you're thinking. I mm. still do enjoy all the perks like student discounts. In your face. And looking like I'm five years younger than my real age. Oh, okay. But I don't anymore. My once plump, cute cheeks have started drooping. And Aww. I know I could just leave this. Oh, goodness. She's like. But what? You 
you definitely don't sound like you're 50 years old, so why are your cheeks drooping? Oh dear! Well, my five pound cheeks hang on each side of my face on mm -hmm. my high cheekbones. Mm -hmm. And when such heavy objects are being pulled down by gravity, it would be great if something like Makes my sense. jawbone could support them. But nope, it's too narrow. Oh. So my cheeks are basically in free fall. And now I look <laughs> I love like this I have little some cute smell. The booties. Well, I love all the little booties. Wrinkles, but shadows from my okay. cheeks I got and you. And to me, when I look in the mirror now, instead of seeing the cheerful face I always had, mm -hmm. I look even more pissed than if I just didn't oh, have no. cheeks to begin with. No. And that's when I started hating the fact that I had chubby cheeks. No. I hate my chubby cheeks. I'm sorry. People have started treating me differently now, too. Oh, really? Fun. How's studying going? Oh, good. What's up? What I think I oh, look sorry. like. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to bother. Are you okay? At first, I didn't what? quite catch on to what was happening yeah. and why people were asking me those questions. Mm -hmm. So I would just reply with, um, yeah, I guess I'm a little stressed. So they just said it from your face? Damn, you look so pissed. Oh my goodness. I'm just oh my goodness. <laughs> Why would someone just say that? You got mm. yourself a new member. Live in peace. Although piss. it's not exactly how I want <laughs> to look. If I wasn't gonna look cuddly and cute, then I might as well have this unapproachable look like a bad bitch you love to hate on. Oh, uh, she looks cute someone though. Who looks really mysterious, Expectation. Like always thinking really hard about something important. That's true. They or do, they but sometimes they look unapproachable. Oh, unapproachable. Everything they wear look really expensive. Mm. But um. Or they look unapproachable. You know, I, <laughs> I like the eyes, like ways to look happy. Or somehow I need to make my cheeks perky again. So starting from good skincare, I've even started sleeping on the edge of my pillow so that my cheeks can hang off at night without creasing into my smile line. But oh, really? that still wasn't enough. So just like how we solve all problems nowadays, I went what? to Google. Okay. And I found out you can actually tone your face with face yoga. It's just yoga. There's a thing called face yoga? yoga? There was a suggested video with over I didn't even videos, know you could do face yoga. Face yoga, who has her own book. And she okay. brought these exercises to the show host. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my god, there's hope. The video is going to change my life. <laughs> change my life. It was one of the funniest videos I've ever watched in my life. I have to check this stared out. stared at each other in complete awkward silence. This is creepy. Funny faces. This is creepy. But, um, you're going to make a fish face and smile simultaneously. What? How do you? <laughs> How do you, open them up? How do, you ah. do this? Oh, that's creepy. I will give it a try. Oh, that's creepy. The more glassy eyed and crazy you look, the better. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> At least yeah. she understands. Like, okay, this is crazy. I gotta see this video. Okay, this is creepy. That is Bye. creepy. What you watching? Oh, creepy. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. And I didn't I'm gonna head out. do any of the face yoga after watching this video. Okay. Because after a good laugh, I just realized my insecurity was kind of ridiculous in the grand scheme of life. I'm so glad you like now, your cheeks now. I'll leave my cheeks alone. Or you're, or you're gonna leave but them I alone. I like that. Is actually face yoga. That's also so true. Yeah, five stars with that tutorial. <laughs> All right. I think that's enough of my personal stories now. Okay. Whether you have that cheeks, soupy <laughs> cheeks, model cheeks, lopsided mm. cheeks. Uh, covered cheeks or whatever lives on your face. Covered Share cheeks. Share your stories with us in the comments. I really love reading. I love your this comments. little bunny. It's especially helpful because I'm a starting channel and it really keeps me motivated when I'm. Working. Oh, I love so this anyways, bunny. For more animations from me, please subscribe and hit that bell. Oh, you're too heavy. Oh, is that the oh extra scene? Ugh. 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 <laughs> Uh, that was oh, that was uncomfortable. I don't think I could, that was hella uncomfortable to see. That was super uncomfortable to see. But yeah, I think uh, it is normal to have the thing that you may not really um, like on your body that you want to change. It's a natural thing, natural progression of life. But I do think it's good when you can get to a place and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna keep this thing, or I'm I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this part of my body that I'm not a fan of, you know, and I want to change. And I think chubby cheeks are freaking adorable. And when you get older, you may think that they may droop, but I think I saw her picture on Instagram and they didn't look droopy to me. They look just cute. So I, I do feel like we have our personal view, like when we look in the mirror and we see what we look like, but then you'll see a picture later and you'll be like, oh, okay. It doesn't look as bad as I thought or the opposite. 
where you think you look like hot. You're like, mm, I am the ish. And then you see a picture and you're like, ah, what the heck was I doing? You know, it could happen either way. But um, I, I am glad that she got to a place where she's like, you know what? I'm, I'm okay with my cheeks and I'm not going to try to change them because I think that's the best thing. And like she said, laughing does strengthen the muscles on your face. So uh, even though I look like I store <laughs> some nuts in my mouth. Okay, phrasing, phrasing, phrasing. Anyways, I think that, um, A, I like the art style. It's very adorable. I am absolutely in love with the fact that her OC, the narrator, is a bunny. Um, I think Katsune has the cat, but a lot of the other Storytime animators that we check out have just like a, a humanoid version of them, right? Um, that's not exact, but like humanoid, outside of Odd Ones Out with his like marshmallowy looking body. But to see this cute freaking bunny as the narrator is just adorable and I freaking love it. So um, I hope that you're really feeling a lot better about your cheeks, bunny mates, and I love the narrating bunny. Freaking love it. And your eyes are super freaking cute. Uh, I love the cheeks. I love booties. So seeing all the little booties was adorable. And yes, I loved it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Um, How do you feel about, can you relate to her story? And then what was your favorite part of her story? Let me know down below. If you like the video, check out the link in the description box below to support Bunny Mates. If you like this video, hug the life out of that like, out of that like button, if I can speak. Um, I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles. <laughs>